Dan Pines, literally the worst choice for mayor of Gravity Falls. Paid for by the committee to elect Bud Gleeful. Gravity Falls only aired a single episode every once in a while, with more hiatuses than you know what to do with. Disney never really had a consistent schedule back then, but this came with a silver lining that I think we couldn't appreciate until now. Because new episodes released so infrequently, each and every one was its own event. There would be a ton of promotion for what to expect, theories about what could happen, and new mysteries to solve. Just one of many episodes falling in this category is The Stanchurian Candidate, which aired in the second half of season 2. The storyline itself was pretty okay. It was the Gravity Falls you knew and loved, not really contributing much to big mysteries about the series, but still being a fun watch nonetheless. It was all about the town mayor's sudden death, which was announced on TV, and then Stan had an idea. He thought about running for mayor because why not, right? What follows is an ultimate battle between Stan, Gideon's dad, and a bunch of other random Gravity Falls residents. The entire episode was election focused, which opened up the door for something very interesting. You see, before the Stan Trinian candidate aired on TV, Alex Hirsch hyped people up in a way you may not expect. While Stan was running for mayor in the episode, there were promotions that gave the illusion he was actually running for mayor in real life. Let me explain. The marketing campaign kicked off with his Twitter account, Stan Pines for Mayor. Ran by Alex Hirsch, these were tweets all coming from the man of mystery himself. Over the next few days, he would write about things that only Stan would say, connecting very much to the new episode. How's it hanging, Twitter? I'm Stan and I'm running for mayor of Gravity Falls. Vote for me and I'll send you a bribe. I, I mean a prize. How do I delete? Hey, how do you delete a tweet? Do I click this yellow star? Mabel, how does this thing work? I'm trying to take a picture, but the icon is small and my fingers are too fat to- Finally getting a hold of this Twitter thing. Time to let you know where I stand on issues. I'm against them. Hashtag down with issues. Stan would eventually start the hashtag yes we stand to spread awareness that he was indeed running and people were following along. What felt even more special was the fact that a contest was held where fans had to put the hashtag in the best places, with the winner getting their own audio recording from Grunkle Stan himself. There were more than a few people trying to take the top spot, but there can be only one winner. It ended up being this dude who hung a banner on a house, so uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Hi there! Grunkle Stan here, congratulating Slick Nick P on his winning entry into the Yes We Stand banner contest. <laughs> I tell you, I don't know how you talked your parents into letting you put that giant banner on your house. Was it mind control? Maybe bribery? Hey, whatever you did, it was amazing, and I'm sure it frightened the neighbors. I tell you, that's a nice house you got, too. If the cops ever come looking for me, I'm crashing your place, Slick Nick P. Congratulations, and as always, yes, we stand! <coughs> All right, cut the mic. One of the best things about this situation is that Alex Hirsch, ahem, <coughs> Mabel, actually made an entire website to promote the campaign. Mabel said she'd make me a website.com is an absolute wonderland that'll bless any visitors. In the header is Pines 2016. Vote for Stan. Vote for Stan! I mean this site for my Grunkle Stan to help him with the election to become mayor in Gravity Falls. I hope you like it. Don't make Waddle sad. Vote for Grunkle Stan for mayor of Gravity Falls! Just when you thought this couldn't get any better, each page has its own original music track. They're all nice, but let's be real, the Waddles one is absolute fire. On the page for videos about the episode, we're treated to something called Pines 2016. Created by Neil C. Rega, it's a song all about how Stan's gonna take this crummy backwards town and make it grand. It has that mysterious vibe Gravity Falls is known for, and it really helped give off the illusion that this wasn't just an election happening in a random episode of TV. No, this was happening for real. Truly stands the man, but form's not a sham, so give him a and keep in mind, all of this was only a single random episode of Gravity Falls. It's not the only time special things were done to promote what comes next, especially when it comes to Alex Hirsch. Time and time again, he's gone above and beyond to make fans aware of the episodes, and you could tell he had a lot of passion for doing that. It's easy for series newcomers to go back and binge all the episodes right now, but that's when you miss moments like these. I said it before, and I'll say it again. Gravity Falls was more than just a show. It was an experience. Grunkle Stan running for mayor in real life may only have lasted a few days, but it was an awesome way to promote the episode. Anyway, were you in the fandom when this was all happening, or have you never even heard about it? Let's talk in the comments!
But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.